single thing that they, oh, you know what? No, I'm wrong. Victor now likes Beyonce. <laughs> almost bought like a big metal egg to <laughs> and then the, the guy that was selling it was like oh it's a hundred dollars he was like a hundred dollars we only paid 200 for a chicken <laughs> Everybody that's in the book, my 
three for the book came out so that they, first of all, were okay with it, um, and secondly, to make sure that they didn't remember it in a different way, because obviously my perspective may be different than anybody else's. Um, what was great is that um, so so often they would be like, oh, I've got, we've got pictures of that, and so which really helped because there, there's so much of the stuff that would not be believable if you didn't have pictures on it. <laughs> Um, I have so many pictures of me like sitting like cuddling Bobcats while I'm like watching the Smurfs, you know. So, um, so that was really helpful. My in-laws were really nice about it and I read the chapter to them. I actually read the chapter to them while Victor's gallbladder was being removed. <laughs> because I thought I'd hit them like at a time when they were feeling really weak and they would be less likely to say, oh my god, you cannot say that about us. Um, so I read the chapters to them and uh, much like my parents, they didn't really laugh. Um, but they were fine with it, and they, and actually my mother in law was like, I'm really sorry. We were kind of snotty back then, and I was like, so was I. I mean, come on, you know, it was like 20 years ago, of course. So, uh, but they were, they were very supportive, and as a matter of fact, my in laws even uh, gave some of the pictures for the book to, to happen. So it's really nice, everybody's been very supportive. no and I'll show you a liar. <laughs> Everybody would go with a doctor if you showed up in the TARDIS, especially the 10th doctor. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Yeah, right. yes. uh, the Christmas Miracle, so we did it the, the first year we did it was two years ago and that was, for those of you who don't, don't know, it was this accidental Christmas miracle where basically I had bought this horrible, wonderful, jolly, giant forehead named James Garfield, and my husband was very upset that I had spent $90 on it, and um, was just really, really ticked off, so I was like, okay, you guys, I need for nine of you to buy a homemade Christmas card for $10, and I'll make it, and it'll be awesome, and it was, it had like, James Garfield and had all sorts of Christmas lights and it such stuff like, it's getting motherfucking festive in here, y'all. And they were great. Um, and what happened was, it turned, exactly, it's, it was in the book, I forgot. Um, and what happened is, as so many people bought them that James Garfield made more that month than I did. And um, so I took that, that money and, um, and Victor and I were like, you know, we didn't really well, this year we were so lucky, people were so helpful, why don't we take that money and give it to people who are struggling? And so I basically said, if you are struggling this year for Christmas or Hanukkah, you know, you're going to be able to get uh, toys for your kids. Um, just leave a comment and the first 30, I think it was the first 30 people who say that they can't do it, I'll give you a like, $30 gift certificate. And the first 30 went so crazy fast. Um, and then the 31st person showed up, the 32nd, 33rd, 34th, and I went and I talked to Victor and I was like, let's figure out how we can do this, like maybe we can find some more money, and while I was gone, some, and then one of the readers said, I'll take the 31st person, and someone else said, I'll, I'll do the 32nd person, and someone else said, I'll do 33 through 36, and what happened was, with absolutely no planning, no outside support, no sponsorship, and no one getting anything from it. Um, strangers helping strangers, um, over $42,000 worth of gift cards were given to total strangers to make sure that kids had Christmas and Hanukkah, um, which was so amazing. Um, it was also completely exhausting because I was not prepared to do that on my own. And so I got really sick because I got really bad for the entire Friday. And so um, the next year I said, well, let's do, let's we do it again, but I can't keep charge of it. So instead we'll do Project Night Night, which gives um, to homeless kids, it gives them a, a stuffed animal, a security blanket, an age-appropriate book, and a brand new bag. And um, they're not going to hit their goal. They're like 7,500. Um, they're not going to hit their goal of 7,500 for do that instead. So if you want to donate, donate to these kids. And we way surpassed that. And Project Night Night basically said, you know, you always hear about social media and about how amazing people are and how they 
people together, but we've never actually seen it firsthand. And um, they sent such fabulous pictures of these kids who were so happy to get these security blankets and their books and their stuffed animals. And um, so, so I think we probably will continue to do it, um, but, but with the project night night about because it's so much easier to, have, <laughs> to just be like. This is gonna be our this is gonna be our project for the year. Let's focus on it. So.